Good day everyone. Today we're talking about theorems on tangent lines. So let's start. Let's have the first theorem. So if a line is tangent to a circle, then it is perpendicular to the radius drawn to the point of tangency. Okay, explain natin mamaya yung mga words na medyo fancy like perpendicular and the rest. So if we have circle O, meron tayo ditong point A and meron karon tayo ng tangent DA na dumaan dun sa point A. Next, nagdraw tayo ng radius OA na kung saan yung A yung ating point of tangency. So ano ibig sabihin daw nun? Yung OA, yung radius na OA is perpendicular to line AB. So ano ba ibig sabihin kapag perpendicular? By the way, yung symbol niya is yung baliktad na letter T. Marami na kayong alam na symbol. Symbol ng line, symbol ng angle, symbol ng arc, and many more. And madagdagan pa yan. So yung mathematics is more on symbols na kailangan nyo lang tandaang mabuti. So ano ibig sabihin pag nakadinig kayo ng perpendicular? Or nakakita kayo ng ganitong symbol sa libro? Ibig sabihin is yung angle OAB, OAB, or kung ano mang angle dinutukoy, must be equals to 90 degrees. Now, tandaang mabuti na kapag meron kayong perpendicular, dalawang perpendicular na line or segment, they create 90 degrees. Okay? Let's proceed to the second theorem. Tangent segment to a circle from the same exterior point are congruent. Ipakita natin yung picture. If we have circle O, meron tayo isang tangent segment and another tangent segment. Nandiyan natin ng mga points. I-connect muna sa center. Ito ay point A yung nasa labas and point B yung nandoon sa circle mismo. Now, anong ibig sabihin ito? Tangent segments to a circle from the same exterior point. Ito exterior point na same nila, which is point A, are congruent. So, anong ibig sabihin? kapag nakadinig kayo or nakabasa kayo ng word na congruent. Ibig sabihin nun, they are the same or equal in measure. Next, mapapansin natin na makakaform tayo dito ng right triangle. So, i-highlight lang natin yung right triangle natin. We have this right triangle. Now, ang tanong, paano natin nasabi na right triangle yan? So, tandaan mabuti dun sa theorem na, dun sa first theorem na ginawa natin, yung OB, yung segment OB, o yung radius OB, is perpendicular to AB. Ibig sabihin, tong angle na to is a right angle. So, kung magda-drawing tayo ng line na OA, o yung segment na OA, so this create a figure of a right triangle. And magagamit natin to sa maraming problems na may encounter natin today. Now, since yan ay right triangle, maia-apply natin yung theorem na natutunan natin ng tayo ay grade 9, which is the Pythagorean theorem. Review muna natin kung medyo nakalimutan nyo na. Review tayo ng Pythagorean theorem. So, Pythagorean theorem states that the sum of the squares of the legs of a right triangle is equal to the square of the Hypotenuse. Ang Pythagorean theorem ay para lang sa right triangle. So, tandaan nyo mabuti yan. Now, so again, hypotenuse, ito yung longest side sa right triangle. So, kung meron tayong legs na A and B, ang tawag dito ay legs ng right triangle. And yung longest side, nakatapat ng 90 degrees, ang tawag natin doon is hypotenuse. Next, this satisfies the Pythagorean theorem a squared plus b squared equals to c squared. So, yung square nung dalawang legs is equal to the square nung longest side natin which is the hypotenuse. Tandaang mabuti tong formula na to kasi magagamitin natin yan ng medyo madalas. Okay? So, let's have an example. We have circle O with tangent segment CD Radius is equals to 6 cm, CD is equals to 8 cm, and find the measure of OD. Let's have the figure. So, meron tayong circle O. Next, 
meron daw tayo ditong segment CD na ito ay tangent segment. Anong ibig sabihin ng tangent segment? Once lang siya nag-intersect sa circle natin. So, once lang siya nag-intersect dun sa circle O. Meaning, yung point C is point of tangency. Connect natin yung C sa D. So, magkakaroon tayo ng radius CO na meron daw sukat na 6cm. Because radius is equal to 6cm. Next, yung CD natin is 8cm. Now, ano hinahanap? Is OD. So, yung OD, connect natin yung O dun sa D. So, ito wala So, this is missing part. Now, notice na ito ay right triangle. Yung OC is perpendicular to CD. Ito yung ating first theorem. Now, since right triangle siya, right triangle na to, pwede natin i-apply agad-agad yung ating Pythagorean theorem. Kung saan, yung 6 and 8, yun yung ating legs, and yung nawawalang part must be the hypotenuse. So, substitute natin. Yung A is 6, and then yung B natin is 8. We have 6 squared plus 8 squared equals to C squared. Baka C squared lang kasi yun nga po yung missing part. Simplify natin. We have 36 plus 64 equals to C squared. 36 plus 64 will give us 100 is equals to C squared. Para matanggal yung squared natin dito, square root natin both sides. Square root ng 100 must be 10. Square root ng C squared is equals to C. So therefore, yung OD must be 10 cm or 10 units. Therefore, we're done. So, ganun lang kasimple kapag ginamitan natin ang Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so let's move on to the second example. Ito yung mga details and then ito yung ating figure. Notice na yung segment TY is equal to segment TF. Ito yung nandoon sa pangalawa nating theorem na diniscuss. Okay, next ilagay na natin yung mga given. Yung YO, YO, ito ay radius. So ito ay 12 cm according to the given. Next, kung 12 cm yung YO, yung FO must be 12 units din. Bakit? All radius of a circle are equal. So, lahat ng raday ng isang circle ay equal. Next, yung TO must be 20. Lagay natin yung 20 as TO. So, magkakaroon tayo dito ng dalawang right triangle. Now, isa lang yung gagamitin natin. Gamitin natin yung nandoon sa itaas. We have side B, side A, and side C, yung longest side. Now, nawawala is yung side B. So, kung meron tayong dalawang side, hanapin natin yung pangatlo using Pythagorean Theorem. So, yung A natin ay 12, yung B natin ay missing, and yung C natin must be 20 or yung longest side. Simplify pa natin. We have 144 or yung 12 squared. 20 squared is 400. 144 lipat sa kabila, this becomes B squared equals to 256. Now, square root both side will give us B is equals to 16. Anong ibig sabihin nun? Yung TY, yung segment TY, must be 16 cm. Ano naman yung TF, segment TF? This also equals to 16 cm because they are equal. Yung TY sa yung TF. So, base dun sa theorem number 2. And therefore, we're done. Next, let's have the last example. So we have circle N and circle O. Next, yung radius na NA is 24 units and yung OG must be 8 units. Now, ano yung mga missing? ON. Kailangan natin hanapin yung ON. Since wala, so kailangan natin mag-create ng line. ON, AG, and RE. So lahat yan ay segments. Segment ON, segment AG, yung AG. AG sa ilalim, and RE sa itaas. Okay, so let's have the solution. 
Notice na meron tayong right angle dito. Bakit? Kasi ito ay radius at ito ay tangent line. So, ito ay perpendicular dun sa tangent. Next, na kailang i-observe dito. Kung gagawa tayo ng radius NP, itatama natin dun sa ating point of tangency, yung NP is also equals to 24. Bakit? Kasi lahat ng radius ay magkakamuka na measure. So, ito ay 24 units din. Next, yung OP, i-connect din natin. So, this becomes 8 units din. Bakit 8 units to? Kasi yung PO is also a radius of circle O. Now, yung NO must be collinear or straight line. Bakit naman naging straight line yan? Kasi kung gagawa tayo ng tangent line sa pagitan ng dalawang circle natin, yung NP is perpendicular do to that tangent and yung PO is perpendicular to the same tangent or to the same line. Therefore, yung dalawa nating radius must be straight line. So, tandaang mabuti na kapag yung dalawang center ng ating circle ay ikinonect natin, diretso dun sa point of tangency, meaning yung segment na na-form natin mula dun sa dalawang center is a straight line. Okay, so we have here ON. So, may measure na tayo ng ON agad, segment ON. Yung ON natin must be 24 plus 8 or simply 32 units. Next, we need to solve for segment AG and segment RE. Now, yung AG ay nasa ilalim at yung RE ay nandun sa taas. Now, ano yung masasabi natin sa measurement ng AG sa hanong RE? And the answer is, they are the same thing. Okay, bakit? Titignan mabuti. Kung meron tayo ditong 32, meron tayo ditong 24, at meron tayong 8 din sa OE. So meaning, itong dalawang figure na mapoform natin is the same thing. So kung ano yung measure ng AG, yun din mismo yung measure ng RE. So wala tayong problema. Pag nakuha natin yung AG, makukuha din natin yung RE. Kasi they are the same thing. So, ibaba muna natin itong figure na nasa ilalim kasi mas madali siyang i-handle. Hindi natin kailangan yung ibang figure. So, doon lang tayo mag-base sa sasagutan natin. So, ilagay muna natin yung measure ng ON which is 32. Next, gawa tayo ng rectangle. So, rectangle, gawa tayo ng rectangle kasi magagamit natin yung measure ng 8 sa paanong paraan. Kung ito ay 8, ito ay 8 din kasi rectangle nga sila. Next, tingnan mabuti. Yung NA natin, yung radius na NA is equal to 24. Ito rin yun. NA is 24. Meron ng 8. Ganun yung natitira. Kung meron ka ng 8, ganun na lang para maging 24. So, this segment, itong maliit na segment na to, is 16 units. Bakit? Kasi 16 plus 8 is equal to 24. Now, tingnan mabuti kung ano yung mga nawawala. Yung AG is equals to X. So, this line sa rectangle is also X. Kasi sa rectangle nga yan, so yung opposite side nila must be the same. Tingnan mabuti yung na-form natin dito. Ito ay isang right triangle. So, merong side na 16, 32, and yung X. Okay, so pwede natin gamitin yung Pythagorean Theorem wherein yung A natin must be 16, yung B natin must be X, kasi yung 32 natin, yan yung hypotenuse o yung longest side. Next, simplify natin, we have 16 squared or 256, bring down yung X squared, next 32 squared is 1024. Lipat yung 256 sa kabila, this becomes X squared equals to 768. Now, square root both sides, this becomes x is equals to square root of 768. I-simplify natin yung square root of 768. So, 768, hanap tayo ng factor na yung isang factor niya ay perfect square. So, this becomes x equals to the square root of 
3 times 256. Ang 3 times 256 is the same lang sa 768. Okay? Pero, yung 256 kasi ay perfect square na. So, ano ba ang square root ng 256? Iyon ay 16. So, therefore, yung square root of 3 times 256, yung 256 ay 16, at yung 3 may iwan sa loob kasi wala siyang square root. Hindi siya perfect square. Therefore, kung yung x ay equal sa 16 square root of 3, therefore, yung ag, yung ag is also 16 square root of 3 units. Also, yung re, since nasabi natin kanina na they are the same thing, so yung re natin must be 16 square root of 3 units then. And, we're done. So, that's all for today. As always, that's it.